Good morning, everybody. Sports Live in ATL, Atlanta Sports with Slitta. How you doing on this Monday morning? At my early work day. Don't have them a lot, but every now and then I do. I like to get, uh, I say it every time whenever I work an early morning shift, I like to get the day to myself. And that will be later this afternoon. I do plan on streaming the Braves and the Rangers. Uh, I think it's at 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, first Braves, uh, for game one of that, of that series. Braves. Not a good series in Toronto against the Blue Jays. Walk-off loss in the ninth yesterday. Just uh, did not look good. Uh, I, I'll talk about that at a later time. Uh, but, I mean, Braves have Braves have years like this where they have a series on the road where it just doesn't go well and just put it in the back burner uh, and everything. So I'll talk about that later. Uh, subscribe to the channel, everybody. Click the red button. Uh, click the notification bell so you know when all the content uploads. Share it to all your media outlets. Support the channel in every way the channel can be supported. Hit me up on Twitter, at ATL39. Where you hiding? Did pay his bet. My $100 came in uh, late last night. So, uh, where you hiding? Always a man of his word. Always knows my cash app, because he's been on my cash app more than anybody that's ever been on my cash app. So, thank you very much, sir. Um, but I got to talk to you about something. I saw half of your live stream last night. I haven't watched the rest, because I watched it this morning when I got up. Uh, I'm going to watch the final 20 minutes or so of it uh, when I get home later. But I did catch enough of it to know that I, I feel bad for you. I told you, 50% of me really wants to see you win. But the other 50%, that video I did yesterday, is the other 50. I told you. You, you said in the live stream that I'm always laughing you know, saying that uh, it's karma, saying that you're the reason why, you are. Right? Uh, I, I tried to give you this little history lesson forever, and we've talked about it off of YouTube. I have never knocked your fanhood in the passion, because I told you this is exactly how I was. The way that you are is how I used to be. Now, I could turn that switch on just like that. But I choose not to. You tend to forget because you also said um, that being humble, and you make it seem like being humble guarantees you success. I've never said that. So if you're going to say something, at least listen to what I said and repeat what I said. I said being humble will give you the best chance to win more titles more titles I, and I've said this on my video numerous times in streams you don't win all the time I was humble last year the Braves lost against the Phillies in the NLDS I was humble last year said the Braves weren't going to win the division I didn't see it and then when the Braves were making a move we won the division so I reaped that reward for this fifth straight year I was humble with the Hawks the last two years didn't get out didn't win didn't get out of the first round so no sir I was humble with the Falcons haven't won anything so let this be another reality check for you, you pay attention my dude I've never said that being humble guarantees you that you will never ever lose but being humble will definitely play better on your mindset and, and you'll feel good and karma will come your way. Good karma. I was running my mouth on YouTube for years. Bragging after wins, this and that, you know, cons consistently. And I kept coming up short. Braves kept letting me down. Falcons kept letting me down in the playoffs. Choking Super Bowl, whatever. Georgia kept letting me down. But what happened? As soon as I was humble, miraculously out of the blue, back-to-back ah, -back football national champs with Georgia. Two years ago, a World Series with the Braves. 2018 in MLS, with Atlanta United. So I know what is, I mean, I have this merch because of it. Again, you could think of it the way that you want, whatever. And you also talked about karma. I heard you say something about Austin in sports. The, the D.C. Defenders losing the XFL championship is karma for her running her mouth. So it's, so it's karma for her to run her mouth and lose, but it's not karma for you. 
right? Okay. <laughs> I don't see how that works, but yes, yeah, sure, in, in your world you can do that. But Philly teams don't win, sir. They choke. They are losers. Shout out to Match Their Works video. Shout out to RPF. RPF went in. Shout out to where you're hiding. Where you're hiding. Where's his heart on his sleeve? But you don't win, sir. Your Philly teams do not win. You know, you compare, you keep, and you, when you sent me the $100, you said, here's your $100 for the bet. Sixes are still better than the Hawks. In what way? What way are you better than the Hawks? First of all, we eliminated you two years ago in game seven. We beat you three times in Philly. So we own you on that. Also, we have been out of the second round twice. In recent memory, 20, well, 2015 is not recent, but still but between 2015 and 2022, y'all still haven't been out of the second round. We've been to the Eastern Conference Finals, not once, but twice. 2015 and 2021. Right? And we eliminated you. And we're both on the couch. So no, you're not better. Talent-wise, you might be better. Record-wise, but you're not better. You didn't beat us in the playoffs. You haven't gone as far as, as we have in God knows how long. So no, you're not better than the Hawks. It's all about winning championships, bro. It didn't work for me when I was like you. Call me Slit of Hiding back then. But it's working a lot more for me now. So maybe try a new route, a new approach. Just because you're humble, that doesn't mean you can't come on and be braggadocious and have a lot of charisma and, and passion. Just pick your spots. Because God knows with the Mets, men and the Mets fans, I'm letting them have it. I laugh at you all the time. And again, you make it seem like I'm laughing at you because of your teams. I don't care about Philly teams. I do it because you interject yourself on my sports misery all the time. I told you where you hide. If you stop laughing at my teams, uh, you won't have these videos and these live streams, and you wouldn't have had these game streams from me. But again, games as recent memory, game six against the uh, Celtics, we were, our season was eliminated, and I knew we were gonna be eliminated in the series, but I did think we had a chance to win the game. I was upset, and you're in my our chat section just laughing at all of us. Right? So, and, and, and I remember, I told you I wouldn't forget that. If you didn't do that, who knows? This might be a little more tame. The laughing might be a little more tame. You get what you give, sir. And you give a lot of laughing at my sports teams. So I'm going to give you that, that just even more. Because I'd probably do it better than you do. Because I beat you a lot, 90% of the time. Okay, so maybe and hopefully this will slow you down a little bit. I don't know how. It can't. I mean, I've never seen a, a fan lose major titles in one year. Last year, you lost in Philly. The Stars Championship, the Union Championship, the six, the uh, Eagles Championship, the Phillies Championship, Ohio State Championship. That's five. Whether you uh, rep them on, on, on YouTube or not, that's five. Four in your city and one uh, in Ohio State. Stars, Union, Eagles, Phillies. And then the Sixers let you down this year, and you said they were going to go to the NBA Finals. What? You don't win, sir. So you should tame it down just a smidgy digi. That's why I laugh at you. That's why we all laugh at you. Because you laugh at us. Bragging on the Celtics after winning games, what, one? Four with the game-winning three? Game five or whatever the hell it was right you hadn't won you laugh at the at the hawks being eliminated you laugh at the braves uh, losing a series to the astros or toronto or whatever and i mean come on man i mean at some point it, it gets old so if you're going to keep doing it i'm going to keep doing it and i don't feel sorry for you there you go uh, atlanta sports with slitter i'll see you guys tonight uh, for the braves and rangers uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Woo!